This method is if your dog barks from inside the house to something outside the house, like a person walking inside your property to something outside your property. I developed this method because my dog Bosco used to sit on our deck and he would bark at the deck fence at the squirrels in what we call the pasture. And he was barking one day and I kind of figured this method out and it's kind of, it's very unique. I used to talk about this method to all my dog training classes and people would come back a week later for the next class and literally 50% of the people would say that the behavior was eliminated or significantly better after this method. That is a super high percentage for a behavior as problematic as barking at something outside the house. I call it the I see it, I see it method. Here's what you do. We've got Leo here, we're gonna do it with him. He's not gonna bark at these guys, but I can still show you the exact method, all right? If I had a barker that would do it, I would show you with a barker. So, you are in your living room, you have your screen door, your door open to the screen door, there's, there's a window right there, you imagine. So, dog goes, barks at the door. Leo, come here, come here. Dog goes up, he barks at the door. Bark, bark, bark. You walk over to, you, to him, Leo, and you say, I see it, Leo. I see that jogger. I see that jogger. I got it. You're basically saying, I got this under control. You don't need to protect the house. Daddy has it. You don't say, oh my God, I see that jogger. I see that Doberman. You just say, I got it. I see it. Then you go, come on, buddy. Come on, Leo. Run over to the kitchen. You get a treat and you give a treat. It's two parts. When I say this to a lot of people, they go, oh yeah, we do that. And I go, oh, what do you do? And they go, we acknowledge that what they're barking at. They don't do it. There's the other part. There is the redirection, come away from the stimulus and get a treat 30 feet away. If the dog goes, no, I'm too out of my mind. I'm going to keep barking. And you go, come on. And they go, no, nah, I'm going to stay here. You go, no, you're not. And you grab them, you bring them to the kitchen and then you treat them. There's no getting out of it. And then eventually you go, come on, Leo. And you run over there and he goes, oh, that's where I got the treats. He had to grab me last time, but that's where I got treats. They start following you. Now, if you know anything about me, none of my methods are going to be forever getting up, saying, I see it running to the kitchen. Eventually you fade all that out. You're sitting on your couch, dog barks at the window. You go, I see it, Leo. I see it. Come here. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. Good boy. Fade out the treats, fade out the get up, fade out the running to the kitchen. It's an awesome method, but you have to do all parts. You acknowledge what they're barking at and letting them know you have it under control, redirecting them to something more reinforcing than even barking, and they're not getting out of coming away from the stimulus. So you're gonna grab their collar, grab their, if they have a leash on, you grab their leash. This, this does not work for fence fighting. Fence fighting, the dog is out of its mind. Fence fighting, the dog, cannot even uh, 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 comprehend what you're doing, okay? This is for a little bit calmer bark and then fence fighting, right? But any stimulus, door, window, backyard, through a gate to something. All right, I see it, I see it method. Give it a try, comment in the comments if you did this right and it worked, if you did this right, like the way I'm telling you to do it and it didn't work, or if you have a hard time with it, if something doesn't make sense, please comment. I'll try to get back to you on the nuance of this method. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully that helps.